We'll call the regular monthly meeting of the Johnson County Foods Reporting Order at this time. First item on the agenda is the Pledge of Allegiance. Uh, Mr. Andy Cobb, please speak to the Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Next item on the agenda is the approval of the minutes of the April 9th meeting. We have those minutes before you. Any suggested changes, corrections, or amendments to the minutes as presented? Move to approve as presented. I have a motion by Commissioner Daniel. Second. And a second by Commissioner Adams to approve the minutes of the last meeting. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Any opposed likewise? Motion carries. Next time on the agenda is the approval of the monthly bills. We have those bills before you and along with did everybody see those yeah, bills that came in late? Okay. Patty, is there anything or extraordinary about the bills? About the same. Okay. I'll make a motion we approve the payment of the monthly bills. I have a motion by Commissioner Gamble to approve the minutes or to approve the payment of monthly bills. Second motion. And the second, uh, and the treasurer's indicated that they are normal cost of doing business, nothing extraordinary. Any, uh, any other discussion? If not, all in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. Next item on the agenda is the transfers from the fiscal court. That's our monthly cost to house inmates at the judicial center. That is probably the fastest growing uh, cost that the county has, and it's not just here in Johnson County. It's that way all over the state, no matter where you go. You'll hear the same thing. Um, four or five years ago, if you remember, Frankfurt uh, had this bright idea they were going to do some legislation in the House Bill uh, 363 was one of them. That was supposed to uh, reduce incarceration, and it has not worked here, I can tell you, because it's, uh, it costs us more now than it did then to house inmates. Of course, that's a uh, requirement by law. We don't have any choice about it. We have to have a, a jail either our own or we, we lease space from somebody to, uh, to keep inmates in and, and we have to provide them with the necessities of life and, and uh, food and clothing and medical care and so it's, it's really a, something that, that it just keeps going and going and going and I don't know what the answer is because our income to take care of uh, jail inmates is pretty much based on our uh, total amount of money that we get from taxes, from property taxes. And Sally, as I remember, the amount of our property taxes each year is right about five hundred thousand dollars. Well, I can tell you right now, the jail, our jail costs uh, went by half a million dollars a long time ago. This month, it's almost sixty thousand. Yeah, almost sixty grand this month alone. Called after one day, I think it was three hundred people, Mike, or something like that. Uh, last week, last count was three hundred and well, let's see, three eighteen. It's been up to as much as three sixty the last month. Yeah. And that's not something we can, we can't change that. We can't do anything about that. So I guess we're just going to have to continue to try to find ways and. and Hopefully, uh, 
ship can't keep her head above water. Having said that, and that's my monthly speech on Jabers, I do that pretty much every month. It still doesn't get any better. Uh, did we? No, we don't. Okay. I make a motion. You got the motion. Do I need a second? One second. Second by Commissioner Gamble. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all in favor signify saying aye. Aye. Any opposed, like sign? Motion carries. Next item on the agenda is an annual event that uh, we welcome the conservation district here. We've got representatives of their official of the board. Uh, Mr. O'Brien, Robert has been here for quite, quite a while and uh, he uh, presents the, the budget to us and it, I'm always kind of surprised that uh, it's a pretty good chunk of change. Well, that's, <clears throat> that's the reason we're here to present right. our budget and our annual plan of work for next year. Uh, basically working with King Wind. Both of us are supervisors on the uh, conservation district. They're totally with seven supervisors in this county and every county in the state. Uh, we have 121 solar conservation districts in the state. And the reason for that is that Logan County, they were South Logan County with, with the first uh, conservation district organized in 1941. And then a little later, North Logan County organized. And then thereafter, all the other counties organized. So we got a total of 121. Double dip, Logan got a double dip on it. Yeah, yeah. Um, could we have a copy of the agenda? We didn't get one. We we need one for our records. And if you got an extra one? Yes. Yeah. And if you all excuse us, well, we'll just you want sneak the whole out. Agenda? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Just take a look. Yeah. Okay. So, is there anything else, Robert? Uh, that, is there anything new coming up or anything like that? Or you guys just like everybody else are struggling to? Well, we, uh, you know, it. What well, we got plans in our and plan of work here and you everybody's got a copy of everything yeah so nothing big as I know of that's coming up we appreciate what you guys do I mean it's a lot of people don't know about it don't know about the individuals that's doing it but uh, you guys thank God you're in you have an interest in doing it that's one of the hardest things that we see here at uh, in the judge's office is how hard it is to get people to Try to help out if you've got a good project or something that the public can do and you think would be interested in. Uh, but a lot of times you, it's just hard to find people. So I know both of you guys, I know the work you do and, and your, your dedication to serving the community, and, and we appreciate it so much. Thank you for your help and your support. Okay, thank you. Thank you, buddy. Thanks, Miss. Last week, or last month rather, we uh, opened bids for drilled steel and one of the uh, recipients of the uh, winning bid was uh, an individual we hadn't done a lot of work with. So in order to make sure that we've done some due diligence, uh, we asked Willard, if he would talk to the uh, contractor, make sure that everybody's on the same page uh, on what we're doing and, and uh, then report back to us. We approved it contingent upon that discussion. And I understand you've had those discussions with him today. Yes. So uh, I guess at this time, you're willing to, to recommend that it appears to everything appears to be in order, and you recommend we uh, engage this contractor in those services. Criticize it really, and then uh, 
Mike's prepared the contract, and he'll have to review the contract before you sign it. And I also put in the letter that I would like for to have a contingent in case he refuses to sign the contract. The second lowest bid to be the, the other one that we would accept to keep from going back through a whole month of advertising and bidding. And because we've already started the process with FEMA coming into town, we've already had the applicants briefing, and they'll, they'll be here before long to start writing projects. Okay, so uh, having heard that, uh, I'm going to entertain a motion to the fact that put in, in, employ each one of uh, Willard's points that he just made. I'll make that motion. Yeah, I've got a motion by Commissioner Gamble. Second. Second by Commissioner Daniel. Any other discussion? Not on the third signature. I'm staying on. Any opposed? Motion carries. Next item number seven is the extension office contract or uh, budget, I'm sorry. Anybody here from the extension office? All they do, we, we have no uh, correction or supervisory authority over this. They just, it's a matter of policy and procedure with them to each year make a copy of that uh, available to us so we'll have more of an indication what they're doing. It looks like. Uh, Looks like the current year estimate uh, due July 15th. I'm expecting total revenue of 365,134. Budget as amended as of June 30th is at 385,134 or 65? 365. Yeah, 65. And then the year end actual due September 1 would be zero at the end of the period. Uh, if they have receipts, you see uh, cash and government uh, So if you want to spend exactly what you want to take in. Yeah, I can't. Uh, can't read that one line, but as Paul indicated, they're they're going to they're proposing a balanced budget that will bring in X number of dollars, and they will spend X number of dollars. So as long as they're meeting their obligations, and not going into the red, I guess we're we're doing well. Anybody got any questions at this time over the or regarding the extension office budget? Not uh, in a motion to accept it. Motion to accept. Motion to accept. Uh, need a second. Second. Second by Commissioner Daniel. Any uh, any other discussion? Hearing none. All in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye. Motion carried. Any. Questions about the clerk's first quarter report? Senator, you like the rest of us? You're trying to tread water most of the time, and yep. looking to cut budgets wherever you can, and we appreciate that. We know how hard that is. We go through it the same way. Schedule. It's going to be on schedule. It's group out of four. It's what, you know, the, the right. 
I, do we have to go over all of this stuff? Um, I don't think so. We'll give it to the press and Sally's here. You guys have copies of the... Uh, I think we're just entertaining questions. Anybody has any? Okay. It's a matter of public record at this point. Seems to be fairly typical in Ms. Sally. Anybody have any questions from the press? If, if, you, if anything comes up uh, tomorrow, whenever just gets called, we'll be more than happy to, to go through each one of these. You get some high points here. Our uh, fee account budget estimate is uh, $6,015,584. And uh, they're showing receipt to total disbursements of uh, $6,015,584. Uh, fee account actual is $1,453,057. Uh, bank statement balance is 294,000. $294, Deposit and transits 55,000. Other credit minus debit uh, numbers are 327,000. Reconciled bank balance of $21,000. Then you have several pages with uh, all the this first is the funding sources of all activities in that office. And they each quarter at the and during this year we she will present a quarterly report to the court so we can look at her budget, look at her receipts, look at her disbursements and see if if she's on the right track, and I can tell you she's on the right track and does a great job for the people of uh, Johnson County. And so I would appreciate that effort, as I said before. Any other questions uh, about the court? If not, uh, we'll ask that we get a motion to uh, accept her. Order Make a motion to accept the clerk's budget line on. I have a motion by Commissioner Adams. Any other? I need a second. Second. <coughs> second. Any other discussion? If not, all in favor signify by saying aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. Next item is the first reading of the fiscal force budget. You'll see in <coughs> item number 10, budget of Johnson County Fiscal Court here in the June 30th, 2019. Our fiscal year is on a fiscal year basis, July 1 to June 30 each year. Uh, the clerk and the sheriff, their budgets are on a calendar year basis. So that kind of creates a little bit of differences in. in a lot of people think that everybody, all the offices are on the same schedule, but are not. <clears throat> so we're expecting fiscal court budget appropriations of three million four hundred twenty-two thousand dollars, five hundred five hundred thirty-one thousand dollars for general government protection to persons and property, uh, four hundred sixty-three thousand for general. General government was 109,000. I'm sorry. Uh, recreation and uh, culture is 20,000. Administration is 965,000. Total general fund is 4,979,729. Road fund. Roads are expected to 
We're funded under our road aid plan that you'll hear about a little bit later in here. And the, the money from that is uh, generated by a formula that uh, the Department of Transportation in Frankfurt uh, sends everything out every year having to do with counties that participate in the, the uh, road aid budget. Some, some big counties don't do it. I don't know how they make it, but I guess their tax money is a lot bigger than ours. So they don't need it. Uh, capital projects is 965,000. Uh, no, I'm sorry. Uh, administration is 965,000, like we said. Pro fund, million nine. Litter abatement, 30,000. Debt service, 250,000. Administration and road fund, a million one hundred ninety thousand. Total road fund, three million four oh two seven seven six. Protection to persons and property, six hundred and eight thousand. We have administration in the jail fund of twenty-three thousand one fifty. Total jail fund six hundred thirty-one thousand five hundred dollars. LGEA fund uh, protection to persons and property eighty-one thousand six hundred ninety-four dollars. Uh, social services sixty-five thousand seven fifty-two. Roads seventy-five thousand four seventy-three. Administration. Limited capital categories is $86,481. Total LGEA fund is $309,400. Other funds, Courthouse Corporation is $165,695. Industrial development number one, $236,115. Industrial Development Authority number two, 13,383. Industrial Development Authority number three, 108,278. Industrial Development Authority number four, 31,198. Mountain Comp Care, a grant that we're working on right now with Mountain Comp, federal money, uh, $400,000. And Johnson County Judicial Center, $381,664. Total for all other funds is a million three hundred thirty-seven thousand three hundred thirty-eight dollars We have analysis of, of appropriations. Several <coughs> pages, as I said, and if it's okay with the press, if you guys have copies of all these numbers and are satisfied if you got questions we'll be happy to take them if uh, if not then uh, you think of something you'd like to have explained better than you commanded we'll take care of that as well if not everything is in there everything is we operate in the balance budget as well uh, we uh, we certainly can't operate in the in the red there's a lot of counties out there not in as good a shape as we are we're not the uh, best shape in the world, but we've been able to do what we've done by uh, trying to, honestly, to uh, tighten our belt wherever we could, and we've done that. We've uh, reduced uh, expenses, I don't know how many, hundreds of thousands of dollars over the year. We used to have 30 or so employees at the road department. We've got about 10 or 12 right now. Uh, we're looking at everything we can to keep our costs down. And I appreciate the board and everything they're doing. And Mike helps us on administration and contracts and things of that nature that uh, helps keep us uh, on the straight and narrow as well. So uh, my compliments to the court. And uh, we'll continue to try to serve the public as best we can. But we are we're always open for suggestions. Anybody's got any ideas on how to how to meet uh, some of these obstacles that we got out there today. I, we'd like to hear it. 
Having said that, uh, I can, uh, is it okay if I ask for a motion the same as we did with the clerks? Yes, sir. Much pleasure to four. I'll make a motion we accept the first reading of the cross county fiscal court budget. I have a motion by Commissioner Gamble. Second. Second by Commissioner Adams. Any, uh, any other discussion? Hearing none, all in favor signify saying aye. Uh, any opposed likewise? Motion carries. Next item is open the Mack trucks, bids. Those of you that have been coming to these meetings in the past may or may not know, we have a program that we've been still participate in with uh, worldwide equipment. They've got a great uh, lease purchase program for local governments only. And we've been working with them for uh, at least 10 or 12, maybe 15 years. And they give us uh, two new trucks, Mack triaxles, I guess, every year. And we drive them course of the year, clean them up, ship them back down to Alabama. They're sold at auction down there. We're guaranteed automatically. We're guaranteed 90% uh, of the, of the uh, sticker price of that vehicle at auction. And in the past, we've been able to meet uh, that number and even exceed and get have more money bid on those trucks than, than uh, what we thought. And we actually make money on this project that we have uh, almost every year in, uh, that we've been dealing with. I don't think we've done, uh, I don't think we've done uh, uh, as well uh, probably back in the early 2000s as we did early on. But we were still breaking even even back then. So. And I, they are, I suppose, extending the same program to us, and we ask them for a copy of the bid. Of that uh, 275 808 
total price for the two drugs. And even if we break even, what that means is that we've had two brand new trucks. We've driven them all year long. Uh, they serve a purpose for us and, and keep turning over every year with new vehicles every year. And, and we're staying flat or making a little money. And I think one year we actually lost uh, about $4,000 per truck or $3,000, something like that. That was this one. That was from 2006 to 2017. $4,154 per truck. Okay. That still lets us put rock on the lot anywhere yeah. from $9 to $12 a ton as opposed to having a truck in at $20 some dollars a ton. Well, it's a good deal. As a matter of fact, we've been, we've been told by a lot of people, well, that's that's too good to be true. Well, it may be, but we've been getting that pricing for the last 10, 15 years. So it's working for us. Commissioner's got any comments? Or? We're going to make a motion to take the bid for the Mack truck. I want to make that contingent upon Willard's review and maybe with Mike uh, on the contracts uh, to make sure that everything's okay. Yes. I have a motion by Commissioner Gamble accepting the bid uh, from Worldwide Equipment on the two Mack trucks contingent upon the county road foreman and, and the county attorney reviewing the costs and the uh, pricing and, and Verbiage in the contract to make sure everything's okay. Second. Second by Commissioner Adams. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all in favor of saying I'm saying I. Any, any opposed? Motion carries. Motion carries. Uh, amendment to, to the Sheriff's budget you have before you. The sheriff is asking for would amend the his budget by increasing the receipts of the Johnson County Sheriff's 2018 general fund by 16,269.62 to include unbudgeted receipts from CLEF, which is that federal program that uh, I think is that over time. Michael. Well, yeah, I think it's kind of the overtime and, and some additional <coughs> training and that sort of thing. Okay. Uh, anyway, uh, Cliff has generated an unanticipated 15895 and they returned to Fugitive and were reimbursed, I guess, $374.51. They're proposing to increase deputies gross salaries and account code 015015103 deputies gross salary the amount of 15895.11 and travel expense in the amount of 374 51 we'll I have a motion by Commissioner Daniel. Second. Second by Commissioner Gamble. Any further discussion? All on all favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carried. Next item is the uh, amendment by the fiscal court. Ordinance related to the annual budget and amendment thereof, whereas the county of Johnson has realized unbudgeted receipts from surplus property, uh, truck licenses, county road aid reimbursements, uh, flood. Is that uh, is that payments money added to flood? Yes. Uh, Reimbursement, sir. It's $1,191.
property sold for $181. I guess that's surplus. Truck license, $18,278. Uh, county road aid, $109,928. And reimbursements of $89,842. and reserved for transfer of the amount of $219,421. Is there any questions? We approve the amendment to uh, increase the uh, Reserve for transfer of uh, two hundred nineteen thousand four hundred twenty-one eighty-three. Have a motion by Commissioner Daniel. Second by Commissioner Adams. Any uh, any <coughs> other discussion? Hearing none, all in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Any opposed? Uh, first reading in tonight's uh, session with regard to the fiscal reports budget. We've realized unbudgeted un receipts for fiscal budget year 2017-2018 okay. amended to increase the LGEA fund by $127,451.50. Uh, from LGEA coal receipts, $109,802, and LGEA mineral, $17,648, and that's transferring over to uh, reserve for transfer ad, is that right? Yes. Okay. Account code of zero four nine two zero zero nine 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 reserve for transfer of one twenty seven four fifty one. I'm saying aye. Uh, Any opposed? Motion carries. Next item on the agenda, we've been notified by the Johnson County Housing Authority that the board member of that uh, authority, Doug Vanus, K. Douglas Vanus, more accurately, uh, expires in June of this year. He served on the board for over 32 years, and he still continues to be a valuable asset, displaying a genuine interest in the Housing Authority and help maintain the goals and principles under which we operate. They've asked that he be uh, uh, reappointed. I have a letter here by Brian Jeffers, the Vice Chairman. I hereby recommend that we extend Doug Van Hoos's uh, membership on that board another term. Four years. Four years. Motion by Commissioner Adams. Second motion. Second by Commissioner Daniel. Any uh, <coughs> any other discussion? 
Hearing none, all in favor saying aye. Uh, any opposed? Motion carries. Next item on the agenda is the county clerk's claim for calculation of motor vehicles and boat bills for 2018. You see uh, on item number 15, that claim for the Calculated the $25,000 salary. What is that? Uh, that's about, I see that's motor vehicles and uh, boats. That's the and boats. Price. Okay, that's what I thought. And it's times, uh, they calculate that as uh, 15 cents per claim. $25,848 times 15 cents is $3,877.20. Clerks has to be reimbursed for that. I recommend that. Who will reimburse the clerk for the calculation? I have a motion by Commissioner Daniel. Second. Second by <coughs> Ms. Adams. Any further discussion? Not all favor saying aye. Uh -huh. Any opposed? Motion carries. Next item is the road aid agreement. The road aid agreement, as we mentioned a little earlier, that uh, is the document by which we uh, get money from the Department of Transportation in Frankfurt to help operate our county road system. We've got a contract here of about eight or nine pages long. Essentially, it's telling you what the program is and how it works out. And the apportionment of road aid funds, in paragraph one on page one, I'll uh, it says apportionment of county road aid funds. The county's apportionment, which is our, our apportionment we get, of county road aid funds shall be based on revenue estimates supplied by the state or office of state budget for the year fis fiscal year beginning July 1, 2018. This amount is $1,118,000. $1,813.59. The apportionment shall be distributed by the department to the county in accordance with the terms of this agreement. Now, we don't get all this money at one time, so I will move on and that will be self-explanatory here. Assignment of the apportionment, the county hereby assigns all of its right, title, and interest and to the apportionment of the transportation cabinet's division of accounts for the fiscal year 2019. The distribution of county road aid funds, county and the department agree that the apportionment shall be distributed by the department to the county as follows. The first distribution, the department shall initially distribute to the county 60% of the apportionment, less 3% of the apportionment set aside for emergency. In other words, we get 60% of a million dollars, uh, less 3% that's set aside by uh, uh, temporary and emergency use. The initial amount, therefore, would be we receive $583,056 in that first amount uh, reduced by the 3% emergency money. Second distribution, the department shall dis distribute up to and including an additional 30% less another 3% of the apportionment set aside for the emergency fund below. The amount of the second distribution will depend on how actual revenues compare to revenue estimates. And the final distribution, the department shall allocate 
and distribute the remaining balance of the apportionment, less 3% set aside for the emergency fund, and the final distribution shall be based on actual revenues tabulated after the end of the fiscal year, June 30. And the rest of this is me agreeing to certain terms and conditions, like the emergency fund, which is, plays a big role because even though they withhold it up front, if we run into a uh, um, public catastrophic event or whatever, and we need, we desperately need money to repair, emergency, make emergency repairs, we can get it through the emergency fund if there's funding in there, and there almost always has been. So, if anybody wants to read the rest of this eight page contract, uh, feel free. Uh, we all we need that road aid approved, and we also need the uh, resolution associated with that. And the resolution says adopting and approving the execution of a county road aid co op program uh, contract between the fiscal court and Kentucky transportation captain, Department of Rural and its play for the fiscal year beginning July 1, 2015, as provided in the Kentucky Revised Statutes. So we need a motion to approve our participation in the road aid contract, and we, that same motion would authorize me to sign the uh, Resolution. Motion by Commissioner Adams. Second. Second by second for the road aid agreement and the resolution. Any other discussion? <clears throat> Hearing none, all in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Be opposed? Motion carries. Next item is a uh, CDBG grant. We need a resolution. And the CDBG grant is from WR Castle Fire Department and rescue squad. Paul, you want to read, uh, explain to us what that? Uh... Uh, this is a C CDBG grant that uh, will enable us to, uh, we're looking to build a training room at the park station. Uh, Over the fall of the the Johnson County Fiscal Court proposes to apply for CDBG funds on behalf of WR Castle Fire and Rescue Incorporated to construct an addition to the existing fire station to provide for lives and property of the community citizens. And whereas the Johnson County Fiscal Court, on behalf of the WR Castle Fire and Rescue Incorporated, intends to make application to the community development block grant program for up to $500,000. And therefore, be it resolved that the WR Castle Fire and Rescue Incorporated is affirming a commitment of funds for the remaining balance to complete the project to meet matching requirements for this project. And that means this, this is just a pass through for the money to flow through the uh, court and at no cost to the court. Regina, have you helped them with this uh, yes. at all? Yes. Paul's, his explanation is accurate to the fact that we're signing a uh, a resolution merely to act as a conduit to help them get money that we, we're not obligating ourselves to any money. We're just helping them get the money that they're going to use to upgrade their equipment. You're just the advocate on their behalf and the money will just pass through you to them. Okay. And it, uh, there is a match to this fund and the fire department has agreed to the match.
Any any other questions? If not, I'll entertain a motion to approve. I'm saying I. Uh, any opposed? Motion carries. It's not on the agenda. We put on there for information only. We've been trying to help the senior citizens find funding for a van. They've been in pretty dire straits for a, a vehicle for quite some time. And they've been granted money from uh, Frankfurt. And they've been in the process of trying to acquire the vehicle run into one little deal when uh, one of the dealerships, I guess in, in all dealerships, that will be trying to get state aid money. Uh, we just been notified earlier in the week that uh, there's going to be like a 30, uh, 30 to 90 day uh, 60 to 90 days. 60 to 90 days. Okay. Sometimes it exceeds the 90. Okay. If, if you have to order a van, uh, it's gonna, you're going to be waiting on it uh, at least 90 days, from what they're saying. So they've got a van that uh, is on site and they're ready to close the deal. And I think they're going to try to do that uh, today or tomorrow. One. And, uh, we're tickled death for them, where it's about like what Paul said. Uh, we act as a conduit a lot of times for these independent agencies to uh, to go through to get funding, and we're tickled death to take it to uh, do what they're doing. And they do a wonderful job. And I'm telling you, if you've never been to the Senior Citizen Center, you ought to go over and take a look at that someday. And they got a lot of people that's there all the time, and they're there every day for meals and games and it really is it, it's great use and I'm very pleased and very proud of what they're doing. Uh, I guess they just to show the, somebody want to make a motion to it that we accept uh, their efforts to uh, I'm glad to be able to help them with, uh, or with their acquisition. I have a motion. Second. And a second by Commissioner Gamble. Any other discussion? Hearing none on favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. And Woodward has a vacancy he wants to submit to us. Uh, I put him off now for quite a while on filling the job down there at the shop. But uh, the weather's broken and he's and you get a little nervous. We don't have enough men to run all the motors if we don't uh, get somebody on board. I told him he's going through the process right now. Uh, when we're satisfied that the guys met all the criteria, we'll be back probably next month to approve this. But I just want to let you know, matter of information, he's working on a, uh, trying to fill one of those vacancies that, that he's got down there. So we need to talk a little bit longer about that and then we'll we can move forward on it. And we're getting ready to, the weather as I mentioned before, we're getting ready to uh, hopefully finalize some black topping. We're having a hard time getting a contractor. We've been waiting on uh, Mountain Enterprises for quite a while now. And that's not quite fair because they tell us we're one of their best customers and we always pay our bills and, and uh, yet uh, we, don't get, we don't get any help when they're trying to do a big project and we're a little, relatively little project when it comes to the state versus us. But just as a matter of information for the court and trying to calculate uh, the cost of what we're trying to do here today, just run through some 
numbers back uh, from, from 2014 to 2017, this court has spent $2,751,000 in blacktop for various county roads. $2,751,000 from 14 through 17. That's, that's a lot of money, guys. And it's all paid for, by the way. So I commend you on that. This year, what we are proposing, and we're waiting on most of this stuff, we're ready to go. We've got roads ready to blacktop. Uh, we, we're, but we're waiting. We don't have a contract. We have uh, this one section discretionary funding of $159,000. We've got the roads ready and waiting. One Soon as Mountain. One of them's already completed. Yeah, you know, one, one road and then they played a lot on us. And we're back on them every day. I ran into one of them that at the game and talked to him. So we keep pushing. But this is uh, uh, discretionary funding, $159,000 waiting. Our road and bridge funding list number one, and this will be paid for by the fiscal court. When those roads are ready and waiting, black topping, as soon as we get a crew loose, be paid by the fiscal court, that's $120,187. We have another funding list called flex funding. We're waiting on an MLA. That's a, that's a uh, memorandum of agreement. Uh, it's a pending MLA, and that money is going to be available through flex funding in, in uh, Frankfurt. And that is $171,400. $33. We've got discretionary funding again, another pending MOA. We sent this down two or three months ago. And I think one of the people in the, in the cabinet uh, took another job, uh, went someplace else, uh, quit, whatever. And they still have this list, and that's $251,000. And a blacktop list that's contingent on available funding that we are going to pay for by the fiscal court if nothing changes out of our road and bridge. List number two is $332,179. So if, all, if we get all these, that'll be 40 roads, 19.6 miles, a million, 34,000. $118. And I want to commend the court for our stewardship of the county money and for keeping this on the front burner, trying to get approval for it. And we're getting there, hopefully, if the weather stays good and the state turns it loose. They said maybe next week. I actually got a phone call coming up in the elevator coming up to the meeting. They're going to have a crew loose tomorrow from the state projects. They'll be in here at noon or thereabout, but I also informed them to check the weather forecast. They were talking about the rest of the week. We're Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, we're looking at 80 to 100% chance of rain. So, you know, that's contingent upon that. Yeah. Yeah. But we're going to go ahead and start tomorrow at noon. We're going to go to a weather stop. That's great work. That's great. It's good work. Good news, too. So that, uh, I just wanted to say that as a matter of information. That's a, that's a humongous. Uh, undertaking for a small county like us. Now, having said that, that's all I have uh, on my agenda. Is there anyone in the, meeting, in the room that would like to speak to the court? Hmm? Oh, Barry, you've got uh, your report. Just one second. Is there anything? Uh, only that I want to point out there, of course, uh, you know, last month we were doing the uh, Homeland Security Grants. Oh. And uh, we got them submitted uh, with the big help from Regina. Uh, she does all the writing that she put in all the time. And I just tried to provide a little information on them. But anyway, we, for the county, we put in a communications project that kind of combined the sheriff's department and the city police. Uh, we've also 
applied for two additional outdoor, outdoor warning signs uh, in the Thelma community and West Family. So that was the applications that we done for that. And Willard required me to go to uh, two FEMA trainings. So for the past month I've been kind of working with Willard and Regina. So I, I've been busy, Joe. I can, I, I can tell that, but I see you on the road all the time, kind of waving. Yeah, right, exactly. Thank he you. wasn't the only emergency management director there. The other ones from other counties were there, too, so he's <laughs> having a little fun on that one. <laughs> Thank you, Gary. We appreciate it. Now, sir, want to come up and speak at, for identification purposes here? Can I have a Yeah, if you would, just identify yourself for the, for the uh, meeting. And most of them no man will camper. I live out meeting Branks out there, and we got a road there that needs to be worked on and fixed. The sign's gone, Paul ordered one, and it was put up, or tried to order one or something. It was put up, got a broke off spot in the road in the back top, it needs to be fixed. Rolled up above it, you know, banded it, the county did. When they were gated up there, when Dr. Emerson owned it, the gate's been took down for about 11 years or 12 right now. There's three dwellings up above it that need to be adopted back into the county. In fact, off to about 500 feet of it and take care of it. Sir, if, if uh, I don't remember the, the uh, details, I do remember on the one of the roads, and I'm, Amerson wasn't the word, the doctor I remember, but some guy had a uh, gate up that we couldn't get through and our county attorney at that time uh, essentially said uh, you know you got no choice you're not permitted the state wouldn't certainly wouldn't go through it either so I I, I don't know you know the I know the road going. out there I talked to him on the phone yeah. this morning oh, okay. actually we talked this morning I told him I was gonna try to come out today my schedule I told him I'd come out today or tomorrow okay and I've actually got his phone number here to to get one and go out there and look at it. He talked to me about a break. He talked to me about a cover. He said there was another matter he wanted to talk to me about. So I'm assuming this was probably yeah, it. Uh, well, I can uh, tell you about the breaks. Uh, with this weather we've had this winter, we've got, uh, I wouldn't know how many breaks. I'd say 50 this, or more. This break's been going on for ever since the war shot came down 172 and it came down the island to house too. But it was repaired. It should get worse. It bad, but it's getting worse. Hey, have you been out to see that? Well, I'm going out. I told him I was going to come out there today or tomorrow. I had plans. I got tied up with Gary at a meeting today, and then um, some stuff pertaining to the polling places we'll, for the election. We'll take a look at that, sir, and, and uh, see what his report says when he comes back. Uh, if it's, it, do you already have that? Have you looked at that before? I was out there with Sam earlier on. But I'm gonna come back out and look and see what it takes. Okay. We'll go ahead and get to work on the brake and check the cover out. Okay. Uh, when he gets out and meets, are you gonna have him out there? Yeah, I've got his phone number. I, he wanted me to meet with me, and I told him I'd call him as I headed that way. Okay. Who that didn't call me back? How about the abandonment on the road? We need to get it back and search. Uh, we'll take a look at that. There's there's more to that than just saying we'll do it. I'm not. I'm not familiar with how many uh, houses there they are. Uh, there are three. Thought we moved one back up there to make it. My son moved in one trailer up there. Moved in it just in the last three or four months. Okay, so it's yes, there. Okay, that's that's one of the keys. That there's uh, other things of, that are affected as well. But I appreciate you coming. And putting, I didn't realize he had talked to you because uh, he is. On meeting days like this, he goes from early morning to late in the evening normal. So I'll give him credit for that one. But uh, he'll check with it. He said he'd be there and he'll be there. Okay. Appreciate you being here. Yes, sir. We'll take a look at it. See you tomorrow. I'll, I'll be up. Okay. Thanks. Anybody else uh, yeah. at this yeah. time that has anything to say for the good of the okay. county? Not to entertain a motion to adjourn. I have a motion. A second. Second. All in favor?